Today, we look at how to make those perfect, homemade, absolute delight fish cakes, which have got great texture, packed with flavors. They have hint of spices and have got the crispy top layer. But more importantly, they're not soaking in oil, as well as they're super quick to make. The combination of textures and spices take these fish cakes to another height without having that overpowering spices and resulting in an enhanced flavors and taste of each and every ingredient. Welcome to Aftar's World and I'm Aftar. I shall be sharing hints and tips with you as I go along in here, I've taken 145 gram of canned tuna, which was in water. I've drained all the water and it's come to a lovely crumbly texture. Now you may uh, want to use any other fish. And for that quantity of fish, I have one boiled potato, half a cup of chopped fresh coriander leaves. Now these are totally optional. I have got some um, fresh onions which are finely chopped. I also have a similar quantity of spring onions finely chopped. One egg, similar amount of breadcrumbs so that would be half a cup there and I have quarter cup of sweet corn. I'm using the frozen uh, one and if you have fresh, uh, that's equally acceptable. Some salt as per your taste, cumin seeds. I've also got the black peppercorn and some oil. To start off with, put the pan on the heat and a little drizzle of oil. Start frying the onions. So until these are translucent. So while the onions are getting done, I've heated up my flat uh, griddle here. So dry roast the cumin seeds. So once the cumin seeds have cooled down, grind them to a powder. And it is releasing the beautiful, the uh, aroma and as well as when I add this to the fish cakes, it will add to the flavors. Now this is essential that you use the freshly ground cumin seeds powder. So onions are almost translucent and in goes the sweet corn. So coming to the next uh, main ingredient, which is potato, I have boiled it with the skin on, peeled it, grate it. Again, it's important to grate the potato rather than mash it uh, so as to avoid those little lumps you will get if you mash it. The addition of uh, potatoes really makes this uh, recipe because it gives that great texture uh, and the flavor, of course, and it holds the patties together. They are ready to be added to the potatoes. In goes the salt. Some peppercorn. mix that together. I'm using my hands. I want the sweet corn to um, get thoroughly combined with potatoes. The other main spice goes in. Or the cumin seeds powder that we made earlier. Tuna flake. coriander leaves as well as the spring onions so, 
as you can see the mixture is a bit crumbly add a tablespoon of breadcrumbs for binding so the moisture from the ingredients will help uh, to bind all the ingredients together and add another tablespoon of breadcrumbs now here it will vary depending on the type of potatoes that you're using so once it's thoroughly mixed I'm going to take a shape So I've divided these into equal portions and then press them into like little uh, patties or cakes. The next is the, the egg. I intentionally did not add the egg into the mixture because if you do that then you have to actually put a lot of oil. The layer of egg will also help to bind the breadcrumbs on the top. For that crispiness. The next one, dip it into the egg. So the next week, throw the breadcrumbs on the top first. very gently had I just put the breadcrumbs on the tray and then uh, started coating them that would have meant uh, majority of the breadcrumbs would get wet with the egg pan on the heat some oil for frying and then coat the other walls as well. Now, if you're absolutely stuck and you haven't got the breadcrumbs, uh, feel free to use the corn uh, flour. The oil is very hot, they go into the pan. Important to have the oil to be hot so that it's sealing the cakes straight away. Very gently flip this over. Put them into this position so that the side or the wa uh, walls of the cake gets done as well because there is some oil there and I'll keep revolving it. So this way with the least amount of oil you got, got it uh, cooked from all the sides. So the fish cakes are done and they have got that beautiful golden color on the outside with the crispy coating. They are thoroughly cooked from all sides. Yeah. They are aromatic, hint of spice in them, full of flavors. Um, soft texture inside and a crispy coating on the top here. Serve them with a salad or with rice or vegetables or if you want to give it more of that Indian kick to it, just serve it with the green chutney. I've done the video about the green chutney, it's on the channel. Uh, and I shall include the link in the description box. Do check it out uh, and I hope you enjoy this. 
do give these fish cakes a try and I am sure you'll absolutely love them. Until next time, God bless you all. Take care and bye-bye for now.